Good morning, everybody, and welcome back to Kingdom Come Deliverance. Today, we're going to head back to Limpy Lubosh's house and see if we can read the inscription above his corpse. After that, we're going to be heading to Ledechko. We're searching for a man called Ariki, somebody called Pius, and another person called Timmy. Those were the three names that we were given yesterday from the priest here in Ujits. You might be wondering why we're way out here and not in the inn where we went to sleep. Of course, we have this Namdalent Perk, and it procced after I ended the recording didn't manage to catch it. So yeah, that's why we're just on the outskirts of Ujits right now. Luckily, that perk hasn't been too detrimental to us, really. It tends to just take us right outside of towns and things like that, so I don't really mind having that perk, to be honest. Let me crank the volume up a couple here. Here we go. Let me turn this one down. Nice. Okay. Uh, we have to go find Lubosh's house, which is somewhere around here. Might even be... Oh yeah, it's back. Oh. <laughs> There's our horse. It's uh, right next to our horse, actually, just before the bridge. So we're going to go see if we can read this text above his head. Uh, and then, yeah, after that, we're going to go to Ladechko. Let me check to see if we've done both of these. That's in Rite. We've definitely done that one. This one is in Ravna. We have not done that. I don't even know where Ravna is. So we'll see about doing that at some point, maybe if it's on the way. To Ledechko, we can do that. Somebody took the body, and we still can't read this. Hmm. Drazzle. Who took the body? Very weird. I wonder... I wonder why that happened. There's nothing behind where the body was, aside from, you know, a ton of blood. Zrattle, Drazzle... Hmm. <laughs> I don't really know. Okay, enough messing around. What time is it? It's very early in the morning. We're going to hop on Jenda and be on our way. Let me see where we are currently. We're in Ujits, of course. But where do we need to head to get to Ledechko? It's pretty far away from the looks. Yeah, whoa. That is very far. So we're going to head south back to Neuhof. Uh, and then we'll go west to the river and follow the river to Ledechko, probably. Unless, I might even go to Townburg real quick and see if we can pick that lock that we needed to pick for uh, that random thief guy that works with Preshek. Yeah. So I think we'll do that. We're just going to head out of Ujits to the south. I think we can actually go in between these two forests here and get to Townburg like that. Found a beehive outside of Townburg. Okay, so we need to go in here, uh, take a right, go up these stairs, and I think that the chest is downstairs in here, if I'm not mistaken, if I remember correctly, because we've been here before and tried to open it, I think, and we didn't have the level for it, but we may now. It's that one. Too difficult. That one's not too difficult. Maybe it's this one. Let's see. Okay, we got it unlocked. Whoa, we actually did it. Holy crap. Okay, that's amazing. And there's a couple of bows in here that we don't need. Do we want any of this crap? No, not really. Four and three, that's pretty good. Six and four, very good. I'll take the U-bow, because why not? Uh, now we need to return these to the guy. Uh, hopefully it'll pop up his name. Let's see. Yeah. Wojciech is his name. So we're going to return these to him at some point. After we get back from Ledechko. He's actually very close to Ledechko. So maybe it's a good idea to just go back to his place, sell some stuff. Is the trader out? Yeah, he is. Uh, we'll go back to his place, sell some stuff, and then head to Ledechko from there. God be with you. Thanks, dude. Can we trade? If you've got. Let's see what he has. Anything good? He's got crap that we've sold him in the past, uh, and that's pretty much it. Do you have any marigold thingies? No. Uh, not interested in that. I'll take the food. Just cause why not? Lock picks. We don't really need those. See if we can sell them anything. Some pants. 
keep the cobwebs. Uh, keep everything else. Okay. So we're gonna pay him two gold. Hopefully we can get that to nothing. Can we do something? Sure. How about you pay me two gold? What about this? That's bet. Nothing. Die. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. So we just hungry. traded some random pants for some food, which is good because we're actually hungry currently. So we will go ahead and nom on some apples. How long do these got? Five days, and then if we need to, we can eat some uh, dried meat as well. We have a carrot that's stolen that's going to go off soon, so we may as well eat that. Yeah, this isn't doing great for the old nourishment. 74, not too bad, and we're at 100 energy as well, which is cool. It's been quite a while since I made this run from Talmberg down towards Rute. We did it on foot last time. We're doing it on a very fast steed now. Hopefully, if we can get over this fence. Oh my god. Fine. Go around. But I'm not happy about it. Psych! Oh, we found a nest right there. Here, let's hop off. Was it this one? Yeah, I can see it. Let's get really close to it. Nailed it, and we got a free lock pick out of it. Not too bad. I found a path. So I'm just going to follow this down. Should lead us to where we need to go. Be wary of bandits, though. Of course, there's always random people on the roads. And they'll try to de-horses. Found a consolation cross. We're coming up on something here. Oh, it's that inn. Yeah. The inn that's in the middle of nowhere. Should be getting close to Neuhof then. And from Neuhof it goes south. And then we should be able to reach the Wajet guy from there. So we passed through Neuhof. Right? Yeah, kinda. We need to head towards the river from here. So I'll get to like the middle of town and then we'll head west. found a path. I hope it takes me to the river. The Dutch goes where our two friends are, I think. So we might stop in and visit them. Matthew and Fritz. That was their names. We may as well, since we're going to be in town. A uh, wayfarer, hopefully. A wayfarer with a really cool jacket. Hmm. I might knock him out and take it. Why are you creeping around like a footpad? I'll pick his pocket first. If we ever get caught doing this, I'm just going to end up killing them. He's very perceptive. We found an interesting sight. What the hell? So interesting about this crap. <laughs> it doesn't look very interesting to me. Should we just knock him out? I might. Oh, fine. I'll do it. I'm not happy about it, though. I'm succumbing to my earthly desires to knock people out and steal their stuff. <clears throat> I don't want to make a habit of this. But you can't just walk around with a nice jacket like that. Come on, man. What do you think this is? That's what I am talking about. Nobleman's brown hose as well. Should be quite good. Take the fruit, carrot. You can have your slippers. I'll leave you with a little dignity. You don't have to walk home barefoot. Uh, what was that thing? It was, um, oh yeah, these. Yeah, those are better. Pretty significantly better, in fact. Cool. Uh, and then the jacket, where does that go? Uh, it's just a poupon. It says black. What? How, in what world is this black? <laughs> does not make any sense. That's red in my book. Just make sure there's nothing here at this quote-unquote interesting site that just looks like a compost bin. Oh, I ran him over as well. He's probably dead now. <laughs> I choked him out and then ran him over with my horse. What a brutal way to go out. What's this place? 
I think we need to go down this way, actually. Yeah, the river should be just down here. There's the river. <clears throat> We're a bit up the mountain here, so we'll have to go down a bit more. I can see the miller's place from here, though. Wait a minute. Where's the path? Oh, there it is. Let's get on that. And then we can just sprint all the way down. This guy better pay out. That took us like weeks and weeks to finally get the level to be able to do that. That was one of the first things that we uh, ended up trying to do when we started the Let's Play was coming here. Uh, and then we tried to go there and, you know, do the thing. But it was like pick a guard's pocket or open a hard chest, which of course we couldn't do. Because we were a noob. Where are you? Oh, here he is. Wojek. I got your shit. I'm glad to see you. You're younger than I remember. What am I to do with these things I pilfer? No one will buy stolen goods from Oh, we already know about that. Not that I... So if someone... That's... I've done as you asked. Excellent, Henry. I look forward to the latest news from Talmberg. I hope Captain Robot rubs the commander's nose right in it. 175 Groshen. Wow. Have anything else? Have you got any more jobs for me? Of course. You're just in time. I could do with a horse. And since I'm setting the task, I'll go further. I'd like a strong stallion direct from the Merhoyed stables. Now that's no mean feat, you're asking. As well I know. And well I'll pay. I'll steal that horse for you, but the rewards had better be worth it. Don't worry. But you'd best not come back with some old nag. Isn't that where we got our horse? <laughs> Let me see. Yeah, it is. He better not want Jenda. I swear to God, if you want Jenda, you're going to die. I would murder you over giving up Jenda, to be honest. You're not that important to me. Steal a horse from the Meroed stables. Uh, we'll get around to doing that at some point. Here, let me... Speaking of Jenda, let me... I don't... I didn't mean to call you over. Let me get all this crap off of her. Off of him, rather. Sell it to that guy. I went ahead and kept all the crap that we want to keep on Jenda. And now we'll get rid of all this extra stuff. And then head to Ladechko. I'm going to get both of these while we're here. I think I'm going to sell our Gamberson, just because it's a piece of crap. Looks horrible. We'll have better stuff later on, I think. Fancy shirt can go. Don't really need it. Now that we have that fancy jacket. Okay, there we have it. We're going to buy Treasure Map 5, Who Needs a Key. And then we're going to sell all this crap. And we're not going to get very much. Probably around 200, hopefully. I'd like to discuss the price. Why not? Hmm... Is this enough? That's better. 190, come on. See now? Not too bad. Alright, thank you, Wojek. Let me check out that map. Here it is. Uh, between Mehroed and Townberg. Hmm. That one seems hard. Alright. So from here, I think we go north and just follow the path. And it should take us directly to Ledechko. We'll go right to the mill and talk to Fritz and Matthew, see if they know anything about Riki or those other two guys. And also see if we can get a little compensation for finding them that job. Not that we particularly need the money, they probably need it more than us, but hey. A debt's a debt. <laughs> and you gotta pay up, guys. Uh, maybe I should have hit some training with that guy while we were there. I'll have to come back and do it later. Found a shrine, right outside of Ledechko. Uh, I think the miller's over there, actually. What's this marker saying? I think it just, uh, tracked down Riki. Yeah. I have a quest giver. I wonder if that's Fritz and Matthew. Old Thomas. Hold on a minute. Oh, this is the, uh, the mill. What the hell was that? What did that say? Um, I got Fritz and Matthew a new job at the mill. Now it's time to find out how they're getting on. Okay. Well, where are they? There's Fritz. I prefer to talk to Matthew. He's more civil. Hey, Henry. 
Sup, dude? Are you happy here? It's not worth a damn. If I had any choice, you wouldn't see my heels for dust. What's happened? Did you two get yourselves into trouble? A fine friend you are, assuming it's our own bloody fault. Oh, come on. You know what you two are like. I had to ask. Well, perhaps with that monk. But now, the foreman's got it in for us. If he could, he'd skin us alive. Hmm. Always forcing you to work, is he? If only. That wouldn't be so awful. But nothing we do is good enough for him. There's always some reason for him to yell at us. I can imagine. You know what it's like. We do too little, and it takes us too long, and what we eat's worth more than the work we've done, and it's no fun listening to that sort of shit day after day. Yeah, I bet it's not. And the miller won't stick up for you. I would have thought all the yelling would drive him mad. Not really. He trusts that loudmouthed bastard more than us. He's got us down for a pair of parasites. I see. What can we do What's about so it? What's so stupid is the mill really needs us. They haven't had any hands here for quite a while, and the mill needs a lot of fixing. But with them around, we can't even get to work. Hmm. And you definitely don't... You don't ever provoke him? I've already told you once. He's an asshole. I'd say there's nothing we can do about it. If he wants to yell at us, he'll yell at us. Have you tried talking with him? What do you think? But that just sets him off. He starts saying we're practically bandits, and what he's going to do about it. That gets Fritz going, and he starts yelling too, and... And what do you want to do about it? Just run away? Actually, I'd like to stay here. At least for a bit. I never would have thought I'd like working in a mill. But not with him around. It's unbearable. And there's no one I can complain to. But you could. Me? Do you think they'll listen to me? They did once already, didn't they? They hired us because of you. You could have another word with them. Back then, making promises was enough. Now, it will be worse. You can forget about the miller. It's Thomas you need to convince. The miller takes his opinion seriously. So, will you do it for us? Again? Fine. I'll try and talk to him. <sighs> I'm glad. But try not to get on his wrong side. You won't get anywhere with him then. I'll keep that in mind. He's gonna have to try to not get on my wrong side. Take care. If he doesn't be nice to you guys, he can meet the end of my blade. I'll just murder him outright. Uh, okay. So we can't talk to them about the people we're investigating. We'll have to come back and do this at some point. We need to go probably to an inn. And then speak with people around there to see if we can find Riki. Where the hell is he in, though? A scribe, right? What is this? Oh! A tailor! Cool. We'll come look at their wares at some point. Whoa. Let me fiddle with this lock real quick. While it's here. Anybody around? Nope. Here we go. I want to do the competition that's here in town as well. There's like a log shooting competition. Should be some fun. Hmm. Nothing great. Take those. Always handy to have those on hand. Always handy to have those on hand. Come on. That sounded dumb. I got another chest here. Of course, it's too difficult. Fine, I'll go talk to the tailor. See if he knows anything. Dude, keep your day job as a tailor, because you suck at singing. God save you. What can I do for you? I'm looking for a fellow called Riki. Do you know him? Riki? You mean Inak, the courier's son? Maybe. Do you know where I might find him? He's not usually around here. Try asking at his own. But I hope we've got a thick skin. The old courier ain't exactly charming. So you know this Hinnock? Can you tell me something about him? Not much, I confess. Most of the village folk avoid him like the plague. Why is that? No one with a nose likes spending too much time around tanners. And that Riki keeps bad company. I've never heard a good word said about him. Yeah, birds of a feather and all that crap. He hangs out with Lubosh. So... Makes sense that they're both kind of pieces of crap. What can you tell me about the old courier? 
He's as cantankerous as a hog in a thorn bush. He won't talk to anyone. Why do they call Hinek Riki anyway? He's a tanner, isn't he? If you're ever downwind of him, you'll understand. Tannin isn't a trade for the weakest stomach. True enough, but not every courier gets cursed with a name like that. Well, Enix nature's no sweeter than his smell. <laughs> Why has he got such a bad name? Well, like his old man, he doesn't talk much to anyone. And then he's always skulking off somewhere. I heard he got a taste of the pillory in Rathe for thieving. And in Neuhof, he got boozed up in the alehouse with his cronies, and they beat up some merchants. So a bit more than high spirits. Just so. We're all honest folk here. We've no use for the likes of him. Damn. Don't tell me there's not a single person who talks to him. He's been seen around with one of the bathhouse wenches. Adela, I believe she's called. Okay. Let's get out of here. We'll go to the bathhouse first. And then we'll try to talk to his father. Maybe we can get something out of the girl. Um, and then that could help us loosen up the lips of his father if he thinks we know something. Where's the bathhouse at? Oh, here it is. What was her name? A boy, Uh. Doesn't say. Why did I think her name was a boy, Good morning. Are you the one? No. Take care. What's going on there? Hey! Shut up. What? Shut up. God. The gall of these hey, people sometimes. Who's there? Man, you guys are really starting to What's piss that? me off. Jesus Christ be praised. How may I serve you? <laughs> you said that like it was a joke. I heard you've been seeing Hinek, the tanner's son. So what? Come to preach at me, have you? Nope. That I'm a loose woman? A What's sinner that I seduce there? decent men. Hey. God, no, nothing like that. It's just that you're the only one in the village who sees Hinek, so I came to ask you about him. Aye, I've seen him often enough. I don't know what I could tell you about him. Where can I find Hinek? I haven't seen him in the village for a few days. He must have run off to the woods again. Does he do that often? From time to time. What the hell does he get up to there? I... I don't know. Oh, come on. Don't be lying to me. Hmm. That sucks that we can only do these two. I'll go with the top one. Look, Hinek's my friend, and I really need to know where he is and what he's doing. But I already told you I don't know where he's got to. So I suppose he just goes to the woods to pick mushrooms, does he? Mushrooms? No. More like hares or other game. So Hinek is a poacher? Well, that's no surprise. Well, he was never much of one for an honest trade. Do you know exactly where he goes? Maybe he has some favourite spot he might have told you about? He said he has some hideout in the woods, but he didn't tell me where. Okay. When did you last see him? A few days ago. He came to me late in the evening. Drunk. And that was unusual? I never saw him drink much. He always came to me sober. So he was acting strangely that evening? He was strange. I had the feeling he was afraid of something. He kept prattling on and didn't seem to care about... you know what. Making relations. So I threw him out and I haven't seen him since. What's going on there? Oh my, if you don't get out of my ear, dude. What's that? Can you remember anything he said that evening? Oh, oh I'm not sure. He went on about some fellow called Lubosh who died. Oh my. That he was regretting he ever got into it. But he never said what it was. And that it wasn't worth it for the money. Aye. And then he was talking about the money. That was very odd. What's going on there? What did he say about the money? Just that he had a pile of it hidden behind his house. Oh. What did you say to that? What could I say? He was drunk. He kept saying I was a fine girl and other harlots wouldn't go with him even for money. And if I wanted, I could even take half the money and leave. Or he'd go with me and we could get married and such. What's that? Oh, just poppycock. Who's there? Did you go there for a look? No. I've got better things to do. Obviously, he made it up. Where would a layabout like him get so much coin? Yes, I understand. From a raid on a stud farm. 
Did he tell you exactly where he hid it? He said he buried it at his father's small holding in the western Who's there? corner. All right, thank you. Okay, now just I, give me a second. I gotta there? knock this guy the hell out. Where are you? Is it you saying that? Oh my god, you guys are really pissing me off. Where do we go from here? Uh, across the river. Find Ricky's stash. Okay, we'll go find that and then we'll talk to his dad.